a very like sensitive skin so i can't shave my underarms every day like other people can shout out to the people who can you're lucky because i can't i have to get waxed or i will get like ingrown hairs and it will hurt me really bad so i don't really it doesn't mind i mean it, it doesn't really bother me if someone has something to say about me having a little bit of hair under my arms because i know my situation and i know i have to wait for mine to grow back before i can get it waxed so if y'all don't know how real life works sorry But if y'all have any other questions about me that y'all don't understand the real reason on, feel free to ask me. I will be more than happy to answer. I don't like this filter. And the song is coming next week. My, tell these people how it, it works it when people get waxed. So when you get waxed, you cannot just go back like a week. You have to wait for the hair to fully grow back. And then you have to get waxed again. Like, for example, like I laser. So like, I don't have to, I can't shave every day. But there's hair under here right now, even though I laser. Like... It's just one of those things. It's real life. You guys are looking at people who Photoshop themselves, who do all types of crazy ass Yeah, like, I mean, half the girls you see on Instagram do not look like what they look like in person. Like, there's very few people who look better than they do on Instagram and very people who look the same. And half of them, you'll see them and be like, who is that? That's not, that's not her. That's no. Because these people Photoshop. They smooth stuff out. If you look very carefully, if a girl ever posts a picture like with her arms up like this, you will see a lot of smoothing done on the photo because yes, girls who get waxed have to wait for the hair to grow back. I'm Italian and from I'm from Italian and Jewish descent. So therefore I have very thick, coarse hair. My what happens when I shave? Razor bumps. Bad Razor burn. Really bad. Dark spots. Even Everything. down there, even on my legs, I still get bumps from that shit. She literally waxes everything. Her legs, her underarms, her... She has really, really sensitive skin. And then, look, people talking about why the fuck is she talking about armpits. Okay, well, y'all had a million and one comments about hey, how Steve. there was a little bit of hair under my arms. Like, what? In a picture or what? That video that Adam just posted. Again, Adam doing stuff without my permission, but you know, it's, it is what it is. I never get to say so. It's my life, but you know, I don't get to have any type of say so on what goes on. So Adam posted a video and then they started going ballistic. <laughs> Being famous. Trust me, bro. This is not, everyone thinks, oh, I want to be famous so bad. No, the fuck you don't. Be grateful that you could pick your hair color and you could pick your you're this and you could pick what how you want to wear your hair you can pick what clothes you want to wear you can pick how you want to do this and how you want to do that because when you're famous well at least in my situation i don't know how other people be doing it but in my situation if i don't know exactly what these people say i get death threats literally so yeah pretty much i've seen it literally yeah it's i don't know how long it took for me to literally when i dyed my hair black i had to just do it and then it was like, because I told them, I was like, look, y'all don't want my hair dyed. I used to literally cry, bro, right? Real tears. Like, I couldn't wear no dresses. I couldn't wear no nothing. If I didn't wear a hoodie and jeans and Jordans and have my hair in that red ponytail, oh, it was, it was up. It was over. With. It was just a fucking hell scene. Like, I remember you used to cry over that shit all the time. Like, why can't I dye my hair? Why can't I wear this? Why my hair was literally coming out in clumps from it being dyed and held up in a pump. My hair was getting dyed every two weeks to the point where even my hairstylist, two weeks, she was a great hairstylist. She worked in Beverly Hills. That bitch made a lot of money. She didn't give a fuck about just dyeing people's hair. She really cared about the people. And she told my manager, she was like, look, 
you cannot keep doing this to this little girl's hair. She's 15 years old, and she's not going to have any hair by the time she's 20 if you keep doing this to her. And he was like, well, this is her brand. If it's going to make her money, then that's what we have to do. Da, 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 da. And then the lady was just like, all right, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you this little girl is going to end up <laughs> with no hair on her head. Right. And then don't that's care. Really Listen, when it's... Listen, when it's a dollar sign attached to that shit, bro, people don't care. As long as you're making them that money, bro, they could, it, it could literally be, we can sell Danielle's body parts, her arms and legs and her fingers for a million dollars a piece. Them motherfuckers gonna start cutting me in half and selling me on eBay. <laughs> it's okay, you don't really need your left thumb. You got the right one. You'll be fine. Oh, actually, let me get the left one, too. We about to get 2000 for that one. Let me get that one. <laughs> <gasps> this industry is not cut out to what these people make it seem. Oh, you about to get pressed for that. You know that. Press for what? For I don't give a fuck. They could press. They could leave if they want to, too. I don't give a fuck. Mary! Oh, oh goddamn. Be right back, bro. Mary! She didn't end it. This motherfucker. Hold on. How do I? Bitch. Well, anyways, like I was saying, this fame life ain't what it cut, ain't what it made to seem to be. How the fuck to say it? When you gotta wake up on exact schedule, and if you don't, bro, it's the, it's really the threats I can't stand. Cause I, if I listen, if I'm late to a session, if I'm two minutes late, if the session starts at eight and I get there at eight oh five, I'm getting my ass ripped, bro, like stupid. But it's funny because I've watched the same people who rip me sit outside and wait for Flow Rider, wait nine hours for Flow Rider to start, show up to a session. But God forbid I do that shit. Oh hell no. Who is Flow Rider? You know who Flow Rider is? Shotty had them apple bottom jeans. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, apple, apple bottom. Okay, that's wild. Like, imagine, imagine everything you do getting put onto a small screen, and everybody just gets to judge you from that. Everybody you date, anybody you're friends with, any type of hairstyle you wear, any type of clothes you put on your body, anybody you associate yourself with. Like, what? That shit don't even make sense. That shit is not worth the money, bro. It's really not. Because I'd rather have $0 in my bank account and be able to make my own decisions and pick what I want to do and how I want to do it and live a happy life rather than be miserable following everybody's order and doing this and doing that just to have a couple million in the bank account. I know that sounds like a lot of people would be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'll still do it for the money. But, bro, you, you got to It's deep. For 10 minutes, like, you were literally attacked by swarms of people. For yeah, like, imagine not being able, imagine you just want to go to the gas station, get some juice, get some chips. Can't even do that. For, you couldn't, you couldn't be You got to worry about, because, listen, this is really the thing that people don't understand. And I had to make sure I made this clear to a lot of my friends, because people don't understand this. They're always like, oh, why don't you just want to come out with us? Why don't you just want to do this? Listen, there could be someone who has a gun or got a group of bitches with them or whatever and ain't got nothing to lose. And they could be like, oh, that's that bad baby bitch right there. Let's go kill her or let's go jump her. Fuck it. We're going to be on the news. We're going to get our names out there something we ain't never did before. We don't care if we go to jail for the rest of our life. We don't care if we go to jail for a couple days or a couple months. We still going to get our name out there. Fuck it. Like, people really, people are really crazy and really think like that. Right. Look at her feeding these damn rabbits. Who is feeding? B Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. Why the hell are you feeding rabbits? And look at Rari right there with her. Like, she ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the ribbons on your mom's toes and feet? People are talking about, imagine complaining about having privilege. Man, y'all is so dumb. I'm, I'm complaining about having privilege, quote unquote. I don't know what that means, but okay. I mean, it just comes with a lot of responsibility. Like people think, like people think, for example, Kim Kardashian doesn't have a job, bro. Real life. Yeah, bro. Kim does not sit. That lady does not sit on her ass all day and watch movies and just watch her kids. No. 
That's not how that lady life works. She got to be up doing shit. Yeah. Kim. Kardashian. They're saying like, oh, you're complaining about having privilege. Like, oh, people just like they think they think that famous people just oh, once you're famous, you get monthly thousand million dollar checks and you're just living it up. You get whatever house you want, whatever cars you want, you can just have them. Yeah, you still gotta get up and go to work. You still some people gotta be on set from they they're not doing no nine to five sets like regular people jobs. Some people are on set from five AM to fucking Exactly. So it's a full time job, and it's a job. And and you want to know the reason why you get paid the way you do? Because everywhere that you go, you have to you have to have security. You have to have an entourage. That shit costs thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars because people just don't exactly. leave you alone. Like we could, bro. I seen it when we went to Venice Beach. We couldn't be out there for more than five minutes. Exactly. It was like swarms of people. And then after that, you understood why Danny don't go out and just go to Berries or just go here, or just go to this restaurant, just go here, go there. You can't do shit like that. Can't. Just like the video. This Fine. this what you call real privilege over here. He mad because he gotta water some plants. And change some damn cat pics. <laughs> First of all, I'm not at my house. Some girls said I have a face that I'm at the whole fucking salon, you know. Like, and it's people in here. So out of respect, I have on a face mask. Like, out of respect. People are just so fucking rude. Rude ass hoes. I want to see you comment. Someone say you crying because you can't go out. If no. I called my mom by her first name, I'd be dead. Oh, well, that sucks for you because my mom doesn't really care about stuff like that. It's kind of like more like an inside joke how we call her Barbara over here. But okay. For real. Hey, Barbara! <laughs> Y'all see Barbara over there? Barbara! <laughs> Barbara Ann. <laughs> they got mad because I called you by your first name. Exactly, like, 4,000. It's me and Maya on here. We're really just talking shit. 